What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at how to export MIDI out of GarageBand. So a lot of you guys who are just starting out might be using GarageBand because it's free and it's a pretty effective program. I still use it some myself. However, there are some limitations that start to be kind of a pain once you've used it for a while. And one of the main ones is you can't export MIDI files out of GarageBand. So if you wanted to send MIDI to a friend or to a producer who would then trigger the MIDI, you're kind of out of luck. But there is a way to get MIDI out of the program. And for this, we're going to be using GB2 MIDI, a pretty useful and easy to use script that's going to get MIDI out of the files. So let's head over to the computer and check out how to do this. First thing we're going to do is head over to the link provided on uh, Scott Troyer's website, and we're going to download GB2 MIDI. So you're going to click that link, and it's just going to download to your hard drive. Now that that's done, let's jump over and take a look at our MIDI. So. What we have here is just an extremely basic MIDI setup, just some electric piano. And we're going to go about bouncing this out and making a MIDI file out of it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is select the region you're working with. And if you have multiple tracks, make sure you're selecting the track you want to export and then join them together. And we're going to do that by doing Command J. And now that that's together, we're going to head over to Add Region to Loop Library. We're going to make sure that we're recording it as a loop, and then you can uh, title this whatever you want. We can call this MIDI Example 1, and then create the loop. All right, now that that's done, we can go and find the loop that we created, and then use GB2 MIDI to extract the MIDI data that's hidden within the loop. So to do this, we're going to go to Macintosh HD, go to our user file, go into our library, go into audio, go into Apple Loops, and go into the User Loops, and go into Single Files. And here's some uh, other stuff I was working with, but here is the example that we just did. So what I like to do is drag it out to the desktop and then uh, run the program. This can also be used as a batch process. We could have had 10 MIDI tracks that we did that combine and create loop out of and create uh, MIDI files with all of them. So let's go ahead and run the program. I generally just go up to my Spotlight and launch GB2 MIDI. Next, it's going to bring up a file browser when you run the program, and we're going to find the example that we just did and select it. And would you look at that? There's our MIDI file. So now we can jump back into our session and drag this in. Uh, no real reason to import the tempo here. And boom, a perfectly bounced MIDI file. So, obviously not the most streamlined method, and it is a little bit convoluted, but if you need to bounce MIDI out of your GarageBand, that's the way to do it. And as you can see, though there are some extra steps, it really isn't that time-consuming. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and stay tuned for more music-related content. Peace.